Welcome to ArabicTreeLearning.com. We offer free of cost basic Arabic grammar lessons. Visit our website to get more information. Did you know? Unlike English, Arabic have only three parts of speech. Noun, verb, and particles. In Arabic you call it ismun, wa, failun, wa, harfun. Memorizing this will help you a lot in understanding the sentences in Arabic. Unlike English, the pronouns, adjectives, and adverbs are all considered nouns in Arabic. As we know, noun is a word that refers to a person, place, object, event, idea, feeling, or quality. For example, the words teacher, John, and beauty are nouns. Are nouns. And similarly, Muhammadun, Baytun, wa Qalamun are noun. A noun can be identified by Tanwinu or sometimes called as Dhammataini, Fathataini, Tasrataini and in Urdu, you call it Do Pesh, Do Zabar, Do Zay. Only, a noun can carry this marks, no other word ends with this marks except a noun, hence this is one of the identification mark of a noun. Al, is one more identification of a noun, only a noun accommodate, al in front of it. So any word that have al, in front of it, can be identified as a noun. Point to note here is, the meaning of al is same as the. In English, it is a definite article. However al, has many other meanings. So, if you want to learn in detail, please join our free of cost online basic Arabic grammar class. For more details, visit our website.